lesson on how to do the air brake check for a combination vehicle. And uh, I felt I had to do this because I had to keep it as short as possible. Uh, when you take your exam for the CDL Class A, you have to do an air brake check. And uh, air brake check is done by first determining the cutout for the maximum air pressure for the tractor or the vehicle. And uh, the way we do this is to have the truck running and uh, then to uh, pump down the uh, air pressure while the uh, truck is in neutral and you have to your safety belt on. Um, the engine's running and you uh, pump down the air pressure until it reaches uh, 90 to 100 pounds. And then uh, we want to assist the truck and uh, build up the air pressure to the maximum air cutout level where the air tanks will be filled. And uh, that's done by uh, uh, assisting the engine with the throttle until the, uh, the air pressure gauge the uh, tachometer is reading 12 to 1500 and the air pressure gauge gradually increases until the maximum value and if the truck has an air dryer it will sneeze and you'll know you're at the maximum level for air pressure in the truck or the gauges will stabilize um, will stop rising uh, where they're set normally between 120 and 125 pounds 130 is the maximum air pressure for the air tanks. Um, then, um, well, the next step in checking the air brake system in a truck is to uh, turn the engine off and have, I will ask the examiner first if you want to have the uh, a truck in gear or you want to just chop your wheels, but you have to release the brakes. Uh, and when you release both the trailer and the tractor brakes, uh, you want to see um, after the initial air loss and the gauges fall down a little bit uh, while the engine's off and the key is on uh, and the, the, the truck is in gear to hold it while the brakes are off. Uh, you want to see um, the maximum air leakage within one minute and that's uh, three PSI's in one minute without any applied pressure on the brake pedal. And then you put the foot on the brake pedal all the way down for one minute and we want to see what the leakage is there. Uh, it should not exceed four PSI's on the gauges uh, for one minute. And, uh, and then we're looking for the low air warning light after that, after we do our check on the static air loss and the uh, applied air loss. Uh, we pump down the uh, air pressure through fanning the brake pedal until the um, low air warning light comes on uh, or the buzzer and the light. You want to see the light though. And there's a light that says um, low air warning uh, and it should come on between 55 to 75 pounds, normally about 60 pounds. You'll see a steady red light and, and call out when that happens, what the reading is where the low air pressure light comes on. Uh, we go uh, from there to, uh, we have to pump it down even further, pump down the braking system uh, by fanning the brake until the um, trailer brake spring activation pops out, the knob pops out, and the tractor protection valve knob pops out around the same time, uh, between 40 and 20 pounds of air pressure. We have to pump the brake pedal down until we see this happen. The knobs will pop out and, uh, and we uh, note that when that happens, breach the knobs. Uh, we want to pump the pressure right down until that happens. The brakes will be locked up then and we want to do the air compressor build up test after that. And the air compressor buildup test is done uh, by having um, the truck in the same position, uh, but we rev it up, assist the truck between with the throttle pedal between 1,200 and 1,500 RPM, and um, then we, uh, uh, we note when the uh, low air pressure warning light goes off probably the same place, around 60 pounds, 55 to 75. And um, then the next note we need to make is when the uh, air compressor governor kicks in and when uh, how long it takes between <coughs> the air pressure 
reaches 85 pounds and 100 pounds. It should take no more than 45 seconds uh, for the air pressure to rise up or build up in the air tanks and the airlines uh, away the gauges uh, to uh, 100 pounds. And we have to note then what the uh, air pressure is, uh, how long it has taken for the air pressure to rise between 85 and 100 pounds. Uh, and um, we have to release the brakes at that point, push the brake knobs in again, the tractor and the trailer, the air brake, spring brake release knobs, and, and uh, the truck should be in neutral and um, the engine should be running and uh, we'll do a tug test after that. We can test the uh, trailer brakes to see if it holds the vehicle while it's uh, on a level surface. And uh, we'll check the tractor uh, brakes, spring brakes by themselves to see if they'll hold the whole combination vehicle from rolling forward as we push on the accelerator pedal and uh, the brake. Then uh, after we've checked both the uh, tractor brakes and the trailer brakes, uh, we have to do the, uh, the service brake check. So we release both the brakes and, um, and we uh, put our hands uh, on the steering wheel pretty close uh, at both sides, uh, palm towards the wheel check when we uh, let out the clutch of first gear and roll forward see if there's any pull to the right or the left that's a service brake check uh, and this will conclude the uh, CDL combination vehicle class A air pressure brake system